I'm Chris. I'm Kristen and welcome to Keto in the Country. You've come to the right place if you're looking for smart, healthy keto recipes that use whole food ingredients. And today's episode is in honor of Game of Thrones! Game of Thrones! Because we are two unrepentant Game of Thrones junkies. So don't go away. <laughs> So before we dive into the recipe today and tell you all about what it is, we just wanted to remind you that if you are on Facebook, please look us up and join our group. We would love to have you. It's called Keto in the Country, and it's not the Facebook page. It's a private Facebook group. Yes. So. I created the page by accident before we created the group because I was still kind of experimenting, so excuse me. <laughs> and now but, we don't know how to get rid of it. Yeah. But either way, just look for us. Um, we share great recipes, and it's really a place where we can all support each other. Yeah. Also, um, please make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Oh, at the end of our recipe. <laughs> do not go anywhere because we are going to be giving you helpful hints and we also have our favorite part which are the bloopers um, anyways there's always a lot of those but anyhow yeah. the soup today in honor of Game of Thrones is called tin garlic dragon breath soup so this is really just a coconut curry chicken soup <laughs> but you can make it as spicy as you want or as mild as you want kind of like our Game of Thrones characters Ooh, like Jason Momoa <laughs> He's sweet and spicy, <laughs> but we digress. Uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get in the kitchen and we're off to make the soup. Oh, look at that soup, it's gorgeous. So this is why we call it Dragon's Breath Soup. We used 10 <laughs> cloves of garlic. Make sure not to kiss anybody after you eat this. Oh, it's so good though. Um, fresh ginger is key here, even if you're not a huge fan of ginger. Yeah, which I'm not, I was surprised. It's definitely necessary. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one whole tablespoon. And then the also the fresh turmeric. Like we said, we always like to use fresh when possible. It just makes such a huge difference in any dish that you're cooking. With turmeric, you have to be careful. It's probably going to stain your cutting boards. We <laughs> learned this the hard way. Yeah, and, and your fingers. We used one whole rotisserie chicken. We just uh, took the meat off the bones. And... Wait. And we use the carcass um, to make our own bone broth. Yes. And now to garnish, limes and red onion make a beautiful garnish. Mm -hmm. It adds a lot. Here we used four tablespoons of olive oil. And, and we added the garlic first. Yes, over low heat. Yeah, the you low heat. Since we're using the olive oil, we don't want to take it to the smoke point. Right. And after it um, sautés for about a minute, we w went ahead and added the turmeric and the ginger and the curry we use three heaping tablespoons of curry uh, you can use as much as you like depends on how hot you like it or how hot your curry is yes and at this point once it all starts to steam up oh. you are going to smell the most incredible it smells so good this is eight cups of bone broth and one can of coconut milk yes this and is the best part and if you want to thicken yours, you can add a little bit of coconut cream. It just depends on how thick you want it. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one tablespoon of uh, Truvia brown sugar. Yes. And here is a bag of fresh spinach. Isn't that gorgeous? Look I, at that. Yes. I always love spinach. I always try to think of Popeye when I was little. And my dad <laughs> said, get in your greens. <laughs> well, here they are. Yes. I'm not a big spinach fan, but I, I'm getting I'm getting to where I like spinach. Okay, oh, we had a piece of chicken that escaped. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's the chicken. And what's so nice is the chicken really does soak up the flavor of the curry. Mm -hmm. And this is a meal that you can keep in the refrigerator for a couple of days, and, and it seems like it gets it better. Definitely gets better. So we put the lid on it, or we tried. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and we kept the lid on at a low simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. Just let the flavors blend together. And there is your tin garlic dragon breath soup. Perfect for your Game of Thrones party. And we promised you three bases for this. Uh, you take that this was. These are the shirataki noodles. And if you haven't tried them, just take my word for it. Go for it. They are so good. Wow. I I had heard bad things about those noodles. That well, they you, didn't taste good. They come in a bag, so you're a little put off. Yeah. But then, of course, it, you have the zoodles. Yeah. 
and the steamed cauliflower. So those are three great bases for this soup. It just depends on your mood or yeah. what you have on hand. I was shocked by those noodles. I know, it is really surprising. Mm -hmm. And then you just top it with as much or as little soup as you want. Yeah, you gotta get some good broth in there. Yes. If this looks, this is a restaurant quality dish. It Absolutely. tastes like it, it looks like it, it's just beautiful. Okay, so that's it. It took seven ingredients, only three carbs per bowl. You you can't beat that. You can't beat that. And the smells that were coming from this dish as we were cooking it, cooking it were just Onions, to die for. Onions, curry, the coconut milk. What really surprised me with this dish was uh, our three choices of the base uh, right. was the shirataki noodles. I would never ever have bought those but Kristen came home with them they're, yes. the, they're the noodles in the water in the bag I was so scared for her to try them I think I told her don't try them and the thing that I like about them is they really take on whatever flavor you're putting with them so if you're doing it with marinara sauce uh -huh. it tastes like pasta uh -huh. the only thing I would say I mean if we're being honest here is the texture is a little bit different just a little bit but I like to cut mine up so that way there's like just enough for a bite size yeah if you get a mouthful of the yeah. noodles then the texture might the, be an issue then it sticks out but otherwise I mean if you're missing noodles this oh, is like oh my gosh so, yeah. so what we have here really is curry noodles Oops. so right. we're gonna try it I'm gonna actually you can use a fork with this. you can totally use a fork with this because <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to miss a noodle so. They're so it's so pretty and it really does look just like what you would order out at a restaurant it smells delicious too okay I've got a huge noodle here <laughs> One of the things that I have to say about this, um, mm. when Christy suggested that we put <laughs> <So> some <good. laughs> some brown sugar in, I was so excited because I love a sweet curry. That's just mm -hmm. my thing. But I do too. What's nice is you can put as much or as little of the um, sweetener as you want, but definitely try out the brown sugar, it's the, brown the Trubia. Trubia. Yes. Yeah. It makes such a difference and it's so good. And this is a delicious soup. Yes. You've got to try it. Seven ingredients, three carbs. You can't you beat it. You cannot beat it. So we really hope that you'll try out this recipe, whether it's for a Game of Thrones dinner party like we're going to be having. Yes, but if you do it, you have to call it tin garlic, yes. tin garlic dragon breath soup. Yes, brush your teeth after. <laughs> and definitely try it and let us know how you like it. If you do pair it with anything different, please let us know. Those shirataki noodles are where it's at in my mind, so <laughs> if you try them, please tell me. So that's it for today. We're going to have another video available to you maybe later today or at worst uh, tomorrow because we've got more Game of Thrones themed food for you. Thanks so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi. Sorry. I just didn't want to that you, if you need to get in some more greens. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> Shut me up anyways, good. I should have um, been rambling.